Hey everybody, today we're going to give you a demo and review of the Thule T2 Pro XT. Uh, bought this about six months ago and it's gotten a lot of good use out of it on the highways, which we'll kind of get into. I uh, wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like on the back of a 4Runner. So this is a 2014 4Runner. Here you can kind of see folded up uh, what the space looks like. Definitely um, kind of perfect in my eyes. It hasn't uh, been an inconvenience with parking or anything like that. Uh, plenty of room there. Uh, and it does have three positions, so this is the folded up position. You can see you drop it down, and here's the tray, and here's the space behind the hatch. And then finally, the third position, you pull this lever, it drops down, and you've got the tilted away from the hatch. So with the bikes on the rack, which we'll show you in a little bit here, uh, it does allow you to open that and get access into the back hatch. Let's just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when you throw some bikes on here. So you swing up, swing open the arms, you want to pop open these these ratchets that strap on the back wheel. You got two here, and I'll show you what happens with throwing a Jeff C on here. Putting the Jeff C on the tray closest to the hatch. You just kind of throw it up. Now you just click it down. I actually broke one of the notches off of the ratchet because I over tightened it. So you can kind of see it has this mechanism here, this little support here and you start clicking it, uh, probably like my fifth time using it. I tightened it too much. One of these silver notches pop right off. However, hasn't affected the bike. I'm still able to put everything on there, or affected the rack. I'm still able to put it on there pretty securely. Uh, it does have a locking set that comes with it with the key. It kind of comes out like this. And you have the ability to wrap it around the frame. I would not trust that in a situation um, where you're going to be away from the bike for more than five minutes, um, just because it's, it's pretty much just a deterrent. Uh, so let's get a second bike on here. We got two bikes on here. You can see the kind of the clearance. Uh, the handlebars of the Jesse are 800 millimeters, so definitely on the wider side. However, um, just by lowering that seat post, we are able to get both on there. So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like with the two bikes down. So even with the 800 mil bars on the Jeffsy, you can tilt it down. You can kind of see. It tilts away from the car, from the hatch. Pop this open. And you just have enough clearance there. With the universal key, and when you install the rack, you, you lock it into place, and then it's pretty much impossible for a thief to come and, and pull your rack off the vehicle. So uh, it does have a locking mechanism there, which has been awesome. The support of the, the trays, um, no issues with the bike wobbling. Installation was super simple, uh, it took about an hour. Had to use some of my own Allen wrenches and things like that. Um, but other than that, it was, there was no issues. Um, but yeah, we, we've really enjoyed this so far. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some, uh, some questions in the comment section. Uh, happy to get back. Thanks. Bye.